As my first year as First Lady comes to an end, I have had the privilege to witness the spirit and resilience of so many people in our country. I've seen people from all over our great nation pitch in to help those who lost everything. And I want to challenge people to continue with that giving spirit over Christmas and in New Year. That was earlier today. First Lady Melania Trump, Melania Trump was handing out toys to children, but one of her fiercest critics is lashing out at the First Lady after the president's recent tweet about Senator Gillibrand. The women around him, his wife, who has a platform against cyberbullying, that's a joke. That is the saddest thing I've ever seen in this White House, ever in my life. And his daughter, who came to Washington to work for the president and develop a platform for women, go home. Go home. You're doing nothing if you stand by this president. And you should think of the country rather than your brand. Here now, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, a Fox News contributor. Uh, Governor Huckabee, uh, your, your thoughts uh, on that lashing out this morning that we saw. I, I was stunned that of all the people who are going to give a lecture on morality and family uh, and marriage, it's going to be Mika. I, I'm sorry, but I, I just found that stunning. And the fact is, when I read the tweet by the president, I did not see it as sexual innu innuendo, which leads me, Martha, to this conclusion. It's been my observation in my life, and I've dealt with people most of my adult life, and here's what I found. People who lie think everybody else is lying. People who steal think everybody else is stealing. Whatever it is that a person has in his or her life, we tend to uh, think that that's what everyone else is thinking or doing. The fact that some people read that tweet and immediately saw something sexual in it says a whole lot more about the people who read it than it did about the president, because those are the exact kind of words that wow. he has, in fact, used time and again. And your daughter, the press secretary, used similar language, saying that, uh, that uh, you know, your mind is in the gutter if that's how you interpreted this tweet. And we showed examples yesterday that there were several very similar language that were leveled at men. Now, you can say that, you know, those are those are tough tweets from, coming from the president, um, but I don't think you can say that All they're that different. All these tweets are tough. <laughs> going, yeah, they're not that different uh, based on, on gender. Uh, she also went after your daughter. Watch this. And I'll tell you right now, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, I feel sorry for you. I've started a hashtag, support for Sarah, and get your mind out of the gutter. I seriously support you in your quest for truth, in your quest for goodness, in your quest for love of country, because you haven't made it there yet. Mm, quite a lecture. Yeah, and again, I mean, just consider the source. I, I'll probably have to take half a baby aspirin tonight just to be able to get to sleep <laughs> because Mika Brzezinski attacked my daughter, who is one heck of a strong lady, a great mom, a lovely wife, and a terrific public servant. And she deserves better from other women. And it just amazes me that uh, even the women who say they're feminist are doing everything they can to discredit my daughter. But, you know, to her credit, my daughter stands strong and tough and walks in that lion's den of a press room every day and I believe represents women, represents the president, and represents strength in an incredible way. And I, I'm just extremely proud of her. And, uh, you know, Mika can go pound sand somewhere as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, people have different political philosophies uh, people have different, very visceral reactions to things. But to attack the First Lady, to attack your daughter, to attack Ivanka Trump um, for doing what they believe in and standing up for someone who they care about and who they think is misrepresented, um, I think is an interesting way to you know, be supportive uh, of women. So uh, just, just a quick final thought, Governor. I, I really thank you for being here tonight. Well, Martha, I appreciate the opportunity. I, I just believe that politics doesn't have to be personal attacks on people. You can disagree no, with doesn't. what people think, believe, and say, but you don't have to hate them and be hateful toward them. We can do better than that. Governor Huckabee, thank you very much. Always good to see you, sir. Thank you, Martha.